I would like a copy of that. Uh, uh, with it. Would you like a signed one, Raskin? Yes, I would. Uh, could could I you get your members on, in order, Mr. Yeah. Chairman? It's a great so order. order. I want a copy order, of it. Order. Mr. Uh, Chairman. In the meantime, Chairman Jordan and the House Judiciary Committee preempted our GOP colleagues on oversight, rendering this entire exercise not only absurd, but completely meaningless and redundant. They have already held Attorney General Garland purportedly in contempt. Now, when we last met on this matter, you will recall that the majority still had not identified a single high crime or misdemeanor that the president had committed. The committee's impressive 3.8 million pages of documents and 80 hours of testimony from 20 witnesses produced nothing but overwhelming and definitive proof that President Biden had done nothing wrong. So desperate for a new storyline, Republicans have come up with this astonishing new plot twist. They now propose to hold the Attorney General of the United States in contempt for giving the committee the information it asked for. And it is information that has absolutely nothing to do with their failed impeachment investigation or any high crimes or misdemeanors.